Today we're trying something new. I'm going to my first group fitness class ever. Six point zero six miles, seven minutes, thirty five seconds per mile at the Runaway Fitness Push Plus Group Fitness class. This is my first time taking a group fitness class, anything like this before. Uh, I got invited to come down there and check out a class. The facility is brand new. It just opened up three weeks ago. It's something that I've been keeping an eye on because a lot of the coaches that are there are people that I follow on Instagram. And so I've been watching the development of this facility from basically a blank open space with just a couple of studs, uh, not even any walls up. And now it's a fully finished facility and it's absolutely beautiful. The workout that I did today was a high intensity interval slash tempo style workout where you would run at a couple of different set paces. And the way that sets up is when you get to the treadmill in the big workout room, uh, you have pace cards that are built like or printed right onto the treadmill itself. And you have a couple of categories, jogger, runner, and elite. And based on whichever kind of fitness level you choose, there are four zones. And you spend most of your time in this class in zones two, three, and four. Two being like a recovery uh, jog pace. Three being uh, a little bit faster than conversational pace. And four being a uh, pretty high intensity, not all out sprint, but pretty much a sprint. So for me, I was, uh, I found myself in between the runner, uh, which was the middle, and then the elite, which was the kind of the farther, the higher, and not that I'm elite, but the higher end uh, pace categories. And that roughly translated for kind of six miles per hour or 10 minute mile uh, recovery, eight minute mile, uh, eight miles per hour for the uh, zone three, and then 10 miles per hour for zone four. Or sometimes I would bump it up a little bit. Instead of six, eight, 10, I had seven, nine, and 11 miles per hour, uh, which felt really fast because it's a 45 minute class. Uh, the time just absolutely flew by, but still when I was at like mm, like the 20 minute mark and we were in a, in like a, a longer push of like a, the zone four and I was running at that 11 miles an hour on the treadmill, I, I started to uh, worry a little bit. I was concerned that I might not make it through the class because uh, it was pretty intense. And the way that they help drive that intensity, it's a group class so everyone's kind of Working together, uh, you kind of have that group challenge uh, mentality that works really well there. Uh, but there's also like a ton of music that the workout is set to the tone and the pace of the music. And the lights also change. And so it was really hard to, to film in there because uh, the only time the lights are bright is when there's no class at all. So when you're first getting there, then it's bright. Uh, and even then it's relatively dark for filming purposes. Uh, but when you get to the zone three or zone four, the lights got really dark. So it was kind of like running in a nightclub or running in the dark a little bit, but in a really great way. Uh, I didn't have earbuds in obviously because the music is pumped in there for you. And that's all part of the experience experience and uh, it was really energizing and motivating and like I was saying the time just absolutely did fly
fly by, even though there was that one part in the middle where I was like, oh man, this is a really long class. Uh, because one of the things that I, I wish I kind of knew in terms of as a, a person who's new to the experience and didn't really understand like the paces all that much, uh, was like you never knew how long any push was really going to be. Sometimes the instructor, uh, Chelsea, uh, who was really great, uh, would let you know like this one's going to be a minute or a minute and a half or this one's going to be real short. Um, but a lot of times you just didn't know. And so uh, on the treadmill, there are like, quick uh, tempo buttons where you can pick uh, on the whole numbers in terms of miles per hour, how fast you want to go. And so sometimes I was picking between like 10, 11, 10, 11. And if I knew like if it was going to be a real long one, I'd pick 10. Or if I knew it was going to be a shorter one, I'd pick 11. But sometimes I didn't know. So I'd get the 11 and then I'd be like, okay, I've uh, kind of bitten off a little more than I can chew. Uh, but I guess that's the point. The point is that uh, to keep your body uh, off balance, not literally, but from like a fitness perspective. Um, so that way uh, it does exactly what I was hoping that this class would do, which is uh, kind of break me out of a rut in the winter time. It's really hard to get these kinds of high intensity workouts outside because it's just so cold and you're in survival mode and you just want to be able to, you know, log a couple of miles uh, and, and get, get back inside. And so uh, it kind of disrupts what your body starts to accustomize itself to or acclimate itself to. And uh, that's the kind of way that you disrupt what your body is used to. And that's how you get a real workout in and you can kind of grow and get strength uh, that way. Uh, overall, from a marathon training perspective, I think personally my biggest weakness is not necessarily my speed, but it's more my aerobic base. So it doesn't exactly coincide or fall in line with what I'm hoping for to get in the overall winter kind of running season, which is to build a, a bigger mileage base and just log a lot of miles at uh, slower paces so that I could build that aerobic foundation. Um, but on the other hand, it's freezing cold outside today. It was like 12 degrees when I went to this class. Uh, the high for Friday this week is gonna be six degrees Fahrenheit on those days where it's just super challenging just to even run, I think this is gonna be a great way to mix it up, get that body uncomfortable in a good way, and uh, get some miles in in a way that is fun uh, and challenging. And so um, not exactly aerobic-based building, but a great way to just kind of keep motivated, keep things fresh, uh, which is exactly what I was looking for in this class. So uh, while I did get this class uh, for free, I was invited to come down there. I definitely think I'm going to be buying uh, a five pack of classes, uh, which is 150 bucks. So it's not cheap, uh, but I definitely think it's worth it. It's nice kind of like little gift uh, to myself. And then after the run, uh, once it was once that was over, uh, dripping in sweat, huffing and puffing, I'm definitely winded. Uh, we went right to yoga mats, which was kind of strange because it was the exact opposite of everything I've ever been told in terms of what to do after a, a run. And so uh, I was uh, on the floor, head below my knees, um, sitting down, all those kinds of things, which seemed counterintuitive for after a high intensity running workout. Uh, I, I definitely was dripping sweat all over the place, so I feel really bad about whoever I had to clean up. Uh, the yoga mat, at, in terms of cleanup, you do wipe down your own treadmill after the session, but the yoga mats you leave, so whoever to take care of that, sorry about that, I'm pretty gross. Uh, but the yoga afterwards was really great, and yoga and running is two things that I've been looking to combine into my routine for quite a while now. I uh, just haven't really figured out a way to do that. The whole group fitness thing is a little bit intimidating to me, and going to like a yoga, like an entire yoga class seems a little bit overwhelming for me personally. And so having this yoga in a venue that I'm more familiar with running uh, was really nice. So I was able to combine the two things into one session. And by the end of it, usually uh, after a hard workout, my body's just going insane. Heart rate's crazy, breathing's still crazy, dripping with sweat. Uh, but by the end of the yoga session, which was about like 10 to 15 minutes, 
uh, I was just super calm and uh, felt really, really great. So that was amazing. And then afterwards, uh, their beautiful facilities at Runaway Fitness, uh, I took advantage of that. They have uh, a wonderful locker room. It's pretty small, but then again, the classes are pretty small too. So there's never going to be like 100 people in the locker room or 50 people in the locker room at a time. Uh, but there are shower cabanas, uh, I think that's what they call them, in the locker room, which are just absolutely great. Uh, so you not only do you have a private shower area, but you have like an ante room before that where you can put your stuff and you can get dressed and undressed before and after the shower uh, and just kind of sit and take a minute. It's like, again, part of like pampering myself or a gift to myself. It's the most privacy that me as a father of two kids uh, living with my wife and the kids and the dog in this tiny little apartment. Uh, it's the most privacy that I've had in a very, very long time. So uh, a nice little oasis for myself. Uh, I didn't have to worry about bringing towels, shampoo, conditioner, body wash, all that stuff's there. Uh, everything that you think that you might need, they've thought of it first. Um, a beautiful place to kind of get ready, get dressed. Um, they even had uh, a roll of little plastic bags where you could put your sweaty clothes so you could sequester that and that those wet clothes won't get the rest of your stuff wet and disgusting in your bag. So very thoughtful even on the way out um there are uh, complimentary little packets single serving packets of noon so uh definitely they've thought of everything there i had a really great time and i think it's something that i'm going to be incorporating into my routine just to make sure that uh the winter running just doesn't have to be so dull and uninteresting uh, i can mix it up with these like once every like two weeks or so i think would be a really great way to kind of help keep things fresh uh, if you have any questions about my experience there, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'd love to talk to you guys about it down there. Um, I had a great time. Let me know if you guys do group running or group fitness sessions and how you incorporate that into your, your running routine. I'd love to hear more about that as well. Uh, before I go for today, I want to talk about today's charity runner for the day. Today's charity runner today is brought to me by Spinning in Circles on Instagram. Her husband is going to be running the 2019 London Marathon, and he's uh, raising money for Support Dogs, a charity that is very near and dear to their family. Uh, support Dogs, what they do is they provide support animals for children with autism. Their son, who is five, uh, will be getting a, a a support animal from this charity uh, very shortly and so it's very important to them to be able to give back to that organization that's going to be giving so much to them and helping their family in such a significant way so i've donated 10 pounds to his fundraising efforts and i'll post a link in the description in case you'd like to learn more that's all i have for today everybody thanks so much for watching and i will see you guys tomorrow yo what's going on